Hey to everyone out there watching, welcome back to the show. It's JT from Keystone Crew Outdoors. You're watching NEPA's number one show about fantasy fishing. Only three events left in the elite season. So now is your time to make your moves and start making your picks with a little more strategy, gain some ground if you're behind in the standings kind of like I am. <clears throat> As always, you can sign up at BassmasterFantasy.com and join the crew by searching the Groups tab for Keystone Crew. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Pickwick seems like it was forever ago, so I'll just go and do a quick recap and then jump into the picks for the St. Lawrence. Here's a rundown of my gut picks, the Keystone Crew picks, and what a perfect roster would have looked like at the last event. So my picks were Brandon Cobb, he finished 30th, Brian New, 43rd place, Matty Wong, 80th, KJ Queen, 15th, and Mike Iconelli, 78th. I had an abysmal tournament there. The cruise picks were a little bit better, but still not great. We only had one crack the top 10. They were Dave Mullins with 16, uh, finished 16th, Buddy Gross, 23rd, Clint Davis, 68th, Brock Mosley, 57th, and Justin Atkins finished 8th. A perfect roster would have looked like this. You, if you had Brandon Lester, he finished first. Chris Zaldane finished third. Jacob Fouts finished fourth. Cody Huff second. And Brian Schmidt sixth. My weight was pretty close, though. I said 83-13, uh, and the winning weight was 86-1. All right, let's get into the Keystone Crew picks for the first stop, the Northern Swing, the St. Lawrence River, Clayton, New York, from July 14th to 17th, 2022. Fishing should be great on the St. Lawrence this week. My brother, Stephen, my cousin Frankie, and a friend of ours, Mitchell, was just up at Thousand Islands and fished the St. Lawrence. Unfortunately, I couldn't make the trip with them, but they absolutely annihilated them up there. They caught multiple five-pounders and even a couple six-pounders. It's a small, it's small mouth heaven up there. My brother and cousin are great anglers, um, but they are amateurs, so if they can get on them the way they did, I can't imagine the bags the elites are going to pull in. Not only do you have the St. Lawrence River in play, but you also have Lake Ontario. I think a lot of the anglers will be making their run to the lake. This tournament is going to play to multiple styles, uh, deep water, shallow water, uh, even some grass. I know my cousin told me he was pulling them out of six inches of water and he was pulling them out of some of the grass and everything up there. So uh, pretty much you name it, it it's going to be in play. It is a smallmouth tournament, and I think the weights are going to be high with Lake Ontario being open to the anglers, uh, easily accessible. Um, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to see the first 100-pound bag for a four-day total with uh, just smallmouths, but I think it'll come close. Uh, there's a lot of storylines to follow as the season winds down uh, and the northern swing begins here. The next three tournaments will be important in determining Angler of the Year, Rookie of the Year, births in next year's Bassmaster Classic, and requalification for the elites. The current Angler of the Year standings are Brandon Polnick uh, is in first, John Cox in second, and David Mullins in third. Current Rookie of the Year standings, uh, we have Joe Webster in first, Jacob Fouts in second, and Jay Shakurit in third. I'm hopeful, though, that Jonathan Kelly, you know, our homegrown product here from Old Forge, Pennsylvania, can make up some ground and make a push for Rookie of the Year. Uh, being a Pennsylvanian should uh, help him out with this northern swing. But that's enough of the you know, a little bit of a preview and everything here and my recaps. Uh, let's get into the picks here. Uh, here's my gut picks. These are the picks I made right when the buckets were released without any research. Bucket A, it's hard to, to go against either one of the Johnson brothers. It's basically a coin flip. I'm going with Corey Johnson, though. He's currently owned by 20.9%. Bucket B, I have Taco Ito, 41.7% owned. Bucket C, the Llama, Seth Fider, 56.7% uh, owned. Bucket D, I'm going with our, our homer, uh, Jonathan Kelly, 4.6% owned. Uh, bucket E, I have Mike Iconelli, you know, as always, I'm a fish head, I love Ike, 21.6% uh, owned. All right, here's the Keystone Crew's uh, actual research base picks and power rankings. Um, once again, I power rank the picks from the Bass Pundits, different articles I read and videos I watch. And here they are for bucket A. I got Chris Johnston uh, at the number one ranked angler, 35.4%. Followed by his, uh, his brother, Corey Johnson, 20.9%. Uh, 
Brandon Polnick I got is the third ranked angler, 27.6%. And David Mullins is my fourth ranked angler there, 1.3%. Once again, my pick, Corey Johnson, 20.9%. And the Cruz pick is Chris Johnson, his brother, at 35.4%. Can't go wrong with either of them. It's pretty much their home fishery, um, and they absolutely whack the smallmouths. On to bucket B. Uh, Taco Ito is our first-ranked angler with 41.7% owned, followed by Jeff Gustafson, 30.1% uh, owned, and Jason Christie with 8.7% owned. Uh, my pick and the crew's pick actually are going to be the same in this one. Taco Ito with the 41.7% owned. On to bucket C. We got Seth Fider, 56.7% owned. Micah Frazier, 3.6%. Chad Pipkins, 5.7%. Clark Wenlet, 8%. Josh Douglas, 5.9%. And Bill Lowen at 0.6% owned. However, my pick... And the cruise pick, again, two buckets in a row, are going to be the same. You can't go against the llama here. Um, Seth Fighter, 56.7% owned. Bucket D, I've got Bernie Schultz is our first rank, our top ranked angler, 10.2%, followed by Austin Felix, 33% owned. Then I got Jonathan Kelly, 4.6%, and Brock Mosley. My pick, as I said earlier, is our hometown hero, Jonathan Kelly. 4.6% owned. He uh, does pretty good on the St. Lawrence up there. Um, he won his op or he he did really well in his open up there. Um, and I, I expect him to make a move here for for rookie of the year. Uh, the cruise pick is Bernie Schultz though at 10.2%. Bucket E, I've got Keith Combs, 2.4%, uh, followed by Justin Atkins, 17.4%. Alex Redwine, 3.5%. Dice K. Aoki, 14.9%. Uh, and I got Ike, Mike Iconelli, 21.6%. My pick's Ike uh, at that 216 And the cruise pick is Justin Atkins um, at that 17.4%. Uh, Tie-breaking weight, I'm going high on this one. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll actually be somewhere in the 80s. But... Uh, I'm going with 93 pounds and 13 ounces. I uh, think it's a little bit high for smallmouth, but I know just from experience, having my, my brother and cousin be up there, they're pulling out five and six pounders. So I, I think the elites are going to get on them. Okay, so a recap here. My picks, JT's picks, Corey Johnston for bucket A, Taco Ito for bucket B, Seth Fighter, bucket C, Jonathan Kelly, Bucket D, and Bucket E, I have Mike Iaconelli. The research picks, Keystone Crew picks, Bucket A, Chris Johnston. Bucket B, Taco Ito. Bucket C, Seth Fighter. And Bucket D, Bernie Schultz. Bucket E, we've got Justin Atkins. All right, on to the Mercury Drain the Lake. Uh, it's elimination style, survivor style game where you can only use the angler once all season. I saved a bunch of uh, these guys for this tournament. So uh, this is where I'm going to try to make my move here. Um, I've got Greg De Palma, Seth Fighter, Mike Iaconelli, Taco Ito, Chris Johnson, Corey Johnston. You can't go wrong with the brothers. Jonathan Kelly and Brandon Polnick. Uh, and just a quick shout out here before we wrap things up. Here's the standings in the Keystone Crew group for fantasy fishing. First place, we have Sam and G Bass, uh, and that is R. Gayton. Uh, second place, Keystone Crew, Katie Morrow. That's my wife. She's been new taking our picks. And, you know, the fantasy picks have been pretty good for her to be holding in second place. Uh, third place, we have Cap'n Noni, uh, B. Hartzell. Uh, I'm currently in 8th place, but we're not going to talk about that one. I mean, I'm a kind of bottom of the barrel there. Drain the Lake. Uh, first place is Keystone Crew, Katie Morrow again. Second place, we got Skipper22587, which is me. Uh, and then third place, we have Cap'n Jack, uh, Jay Hartzell. Uh, just to end and wrap things up here, my wife Katie, brother Steven, and I uh, are going up to the Thousand Islands on the 17th for the expo and the, the live weigh-ins. Um, so I hope to see all you guys there, and good luck with this tournament. See you later.